All right, guys, we're back working in the studio. Today, we're going to build a little halo for the go-kart. Now, we realized that there's really no protection if we were to flip this thing. And with a bunch of different people riding it, we want to make sure that who's ever driving is protected. So we're going to use the tubing bender, roll up some bar, going to make a little halo that goes from here to the other side. It's going to be a real simple project, but it's just something we really need to do to this go-kart. So follow along. We're going to build it right now. So around 33 or 34 inches will be with a tangent basically is and it'll be a pretty aggressive angle of the bend. Um, I'm guessing closer to 30 degrees. Again, this is dummy math. Uh, but we'll just sneak up on it. We'll keep bending it until we get what we want. And since it's only one bend, we can then cut the legs to size to make it what we need. So let's try it out. All right, with the bar in place, snugly inside the machine, draw this arm and you find a point where it grabs. Right here it means it's snug, but it has not begun to bend the tubing. So at this point, you identify your zero because we have not bent it yet. So there's a zero degree bend to it. So there we go, it's at zero. Now as we draw the arm in multiple swings, we will draw this over the mandrel and we will achieve the bend we want. So let's see what we can do. All right, so at this point, we've maxed out the swing of the arm. No big deal, it's built for that. All you do is release this pin, reset this further back, insert the pin again. And as you can see, we've got tension again. We can continue doing that loop. Now that this is all lined up, we just need to notch these ends right here. So once we notch them, any little bit of variance out, uh, outside the frame rails here, we're just kind of be able to push in a little bit. So we're going to mount up the notcher over here, get it done. All right, so now that we got this tacked into place, the next step is gonna make some uprights in case this does flip over and we roll on this. If it's just welded straight up right now, it's not gonna be of any help. So Joe's gonna cut us some bars here. We're gonna do some pipe on a 45, just do two front, two back. And that way it's just, you know, if it does roll, it has that front to back support. So we're gonna cut that up and get started. So the one thing that's cool about this tubing notcher is it's pretty easy to make angled cuts. So I loosened up this big bolt right here and there's a gauge right over here. So our next cut's gonna be 45 degrees. So we're just gonna go to the 45 hash mark, tighten it down, and we're ready to make our cuts for the sidebars. So 
on the back, we went a little shorter, just a little style design here. Um, went about three inches shorter on the rear one. It also gives us a little better access to the motor and everything. All right guys, Joe had to take off, but we just finished and it looks great. Again, it was super easy. We used the tubing bender, one big bend, and then just used the notcher and did a couple 45 degree notches on these crossbars. Now, the next step we gotta do is strip this whole thing back down and repaint it. We marred the hell out of it, trying to add all these, these new parts and new accessories we put on. So that'll be the next episode. Until then, gotta work on my welding because these ones didn't come out too great. If you guys need any more information on any of the tools we use in this video, visit eastwood.com.